keeping God's commandments. You finally want the younger black men to look up to you, you start keeping God's commandments. Because until you do that, you ain't no role model and you have failed the young black men. You understand? A older black man, it is his job and it always been his job to be an example to the older, the younger black men. To show him how to be a man. Okay? But our people fail to realize that. The, the older black man has lost the vision. They don't understand why we in this condition. Our elders have ceased from being an example. That's why the Most High is raising a righteous man in these last days. Right. Right. Okay, right. so read it again. The righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. Come on. And the law is the truth. And the law is the truth. And the law is the truth. Cause mind you now, go to Deuteronomy chapter 28 verse 48. Mind you now, what happened to us in slavery? I'm asking you, brother, what happened to us? We, we sold ourselves to the white man for a fall. No, we ain't sold ourselves. We the Israelites. The Africans sold us. Bro, well, I, I'm going to make it more specific. What's your name, brother? Oh, A.B. A.B.? Watch this, A.B. Pay attention to what I'm about to ask you. When we got off them slave ships, when we was put in them bondage, while we was going through hardcore slavery, what happened to the black man? His, his will was broken. There you go. He hit it on point. His will was broken, not only that, his mind has been destroyed. Who put the black man in therapy? No one put the black man in therapy to help him. That's why they shooting us down in the street because we, they still look at us as slaves, but they don't, we, don't own, we don't belong to a Pacific slave master, so they don't see no value in you. You understand? So they say, shoot the nigga down in the street. Oh well, no, it's, no, it's not gonna be no recompense. They be, that's one thing that uh, that never left America. The blood of black men on the ground. Right. Spilled in violence. Right. Okay? So now, read, it, read what you got. Look at Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48. Because I want to bring the current what A.B. said, right? You said A.B., right? A.B. Okay, watch it. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemies. So we went in the bondage. We were serving our enemies. Come on. Which the Lord shall send against thee. Because the Lord sent them against us for breaking his commandments. Come on. In hunger. So we would have to go to our enemy for food. And in thirst. For water. And in nakedness. And for uh, clothing. Come on. And in want of all things. So to this day, we still go to our enemy for what? And in want of all things. So that's how you learn Christianity, black man. That's how you learn to be a Christian, black woman. Right. That's where you learn to put them pants on, black woman. That's where you learn to keep your perm, black woman. That's where you learn to shave your beard off, black man. Right. Okay? Right. Read. And he. And who? And he. Who is the he at the latter part of verse 48? Read the top of verse 48 again. Therefore shalt thou serve thine enemy. That, the he at the latter part of verse 48 is talking about your enemy Read that will do what? Come on. And he shall put a yoke of iron upon thy neck. So that's Bible prophecy, that yokes of iron will be put on our neck. Right. Okay? That's what happened. Read. Until. A uh, what? Until. Once we, once them chains came off, cause AB was talking about what? When we, what happened to our minds? Our will was broken. Right. The black man is not in his right mind. Right. He must come back to his nationality and come back to the laws of the most high to be able to obtain his right mind. Right. That's the only way. Read. Until. A uh, what? Until. At that exact point when they emancipated us. Read. He had destroyed thee. Oh, uh, we were mentally destroyed. That's why we put tattoos on our face. That's why we buy Swisher Sweets. That's why we shave our face. That's why our women walk around in pants. That's why our women walk around with blonde hair. That's right. Because we destroyed now. Right. They said, look, 
Free the niggas they destroyed. Emancipate them. They ain't going nowhere. They're going to build up America. Wow. You understand? So now, go back to uh, Psalm 119, 144, 142. Read it again. Thy righteousness is an everlasting righteousness. So what are we talking about? We talk about being men of action. You brothers understand you Israel. You brothers understand that you must come back to your nationality. Now the, the tipping point is who is going to be a doer of the Most High God's word. Okay? So read. And the law is the truth. And the law is the truth. So now, mind you now, remember we went to Deuteronomy chapter 28 and verse 48 and showed that our enemies will put a yoke on our neck. Now we got the, the, the invisible yoke. But it's still on our neck today. That's why you walk around with your pants hanging off your ass. That's why you walk around getting hot. That's why you walk around, you don't look at our sisters as Israelite daughters of Sarah. You look at our sisters as bees and hoes. You understand? That's why you do that. That's why your face is shaved. You understand? That's why our people walk off and laugh. John chapter this 8 verse 32. We're going to go back to John uh, 8 and 44. Because what are we talking about? Our minds are still in bondage, okay? You don't know who you are. You don't know what's required of you. But now we're the bulk of our people. But the remnant that's right here that hear the word of God, because i seen you two brothers here before. Y'all know y'all Israel. Y'all heard this truth before. Y'all had ample time to ask any questions you want. But guess what? We must be men of action. Right. Okay, read. John chapter 8 and verse 32. Come on. And ye shall know the truth. What is the truth? The laws of the Most High God. That's the truth. Read. And the truth. And the laws of the Most High God is going to do what? Shall make you free. It's going to free your mind because your mind is still in bondage. The white man ain't put you in therapy after he put you in hard bondage. He don't give a damn about you. He's still shooting you down in the street. Right. right. And if it wasn't the camera that caught that black man getting shot, the white man would have got away. That's right. Don't right. tell me your enemy love you. Don't tell me, I, a, a black man, this how you know his mind destroyed. He ain't keeping no commandments, or he know he Israel, and the first thing he come over here asking, what about the white man? What about the white man? The judgment gonna come down on him. Who is the devil that the Lord spoke of? That's right. the set up, he's a whooping stick that the Lord uh, used to uh, whoop you down for breaking his commandments. Okay, so now go back to John 8 and 44. Cause dealing with that saying, now we making a full circle. Dealing with that one cool brother that walked down the road. He's a shucking, jiving Negro. And I'm going to tell you, the Lord can't use a shucking, jiving Negro. The Lord is looking for men of action. That's right. Read. Verse 44. Ye are of your father, the devil. So any man up here that don't want to do the commandments of God, any man up here that don't want to be a man of action, you are what? Uh, ye are of your father, the devil. You are of your father, the devil. Read. Read. <clears throat> And the lust of your father, ye will do. The lust of this world, the lust of Satan, the lust of the, the devil you will do. Come on. He was a murderer from the beginning. Come on. And abode not in the truth. And abode not in the truth. Going back to what we were talking about earlier. He abode not in the truth. He abided not in the truth of God. Read. Because there is no truth in him. You see that? Because there ain't no laws in him. He ain't keeping none of them. Read. When he speaketh a lie. When he speaketh what? A lie. Come on. He speaketh of his own. You see that? Come on. But he is a liar. Come on. And the father of it. Come on. <clears throat> and because I tell you the truth. You see that? Because I tell you the laws of God. Because I tell you to return back to the commandments. Come on. Ye believe me not. You see that? You don't believe me. Read. Which of you convinced me of sin? So that's what that Negro tried to do over here. Read it again. Which of you convinces me of sin? Which one of these wicked Negroes gonna walk up here and tell me to turn back from the commandments of God? It's not gonna happen. It's not gonna happen. You gonna die in your sin and you can die with the red man. Because the white man ain't white. He not white, he red. Look at him. He fully cooked. Right. You understand? He is red, okay? Read. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? You see that? Read it again. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? If I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Brother, look, 
They going to go climb the mountain. That's in their spirit. That's what they supposed to go do. Go, go rock climb, all right? We going to teach the commandments of the Lord. We going to teach salvation to the 12 tribes of Israel. You going to climb some rocks. Why we teach, why we teach our people repentance, all right? Read it. Read it again. Read that part again. Which of you convinces me of sin? Ain't none of you Negroes going to come over here in your destroyed mindset and tell me to turn back from the commandments of God. And that's how our minds have to be. If you serious about this Bible, if you a man of action, yes, read. Lord. And if I say the truth, why do you not believe me? Come on. He that is of God, he is God's word. You see that? Because guess what? The Negro was walking right by here. The officer bringing out the word of the Most High God. He kept on walking by, running his damn mouth. Yes. That's what a Negro love to do. Run them big old black lips. Right. But he don't want to do no commandments. And he gonna die too. And them big black lips gonna die too with him. Right, right. Read. Ye therefore hear them not, because ye are not of God. You see that? So now we understand why you see people walking to and fro, our women with their vaginas out, our women with pants on, got their booty cheeks showing. They, they on display to all men, but then they say, oh, all men ain't no good. You attracting dogs and whoremongers. What you want? You right. want a righteous man, but you want to wear it? You want your vagina showing too, though? That's hypocrisy. Put on some clothes, black woman. Cover up. The laws of God been given to our Israelite women. The white woman ain't got to put on no uh, dress. She got a flat booty. What's she going to cover up? We, the laws of God was given to the children of Israel. You understand? The other nation can do whatever the hell they want. All right? So now, give me um, Sarah. 19 and 18 because we're gonna bring we're gonna bring it right back to us being men of action That's what the black man the black man runs from responsibility Read what you got Sirach 19 and verse 18 and I'm gonna give it back to the office The book of Sirach chapter 19 and verse 18 The fear of the Lord is the first step to be accepted of him. Wait, 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 wait. Read that slow. Read it again. Okay, Sirach 19 and verse 18. Come on. The fear of the Lord is the first step. The first step. Keeping God's commandments is the first step. Come on. To be accepted of him. If you want to be accepted by the Most High God, that's the first step. You want to know what step one is? There it go right there. Read. And wisdom obtaineth his love. You see that? So that's showing you that what? You're going to start growing in the knowledge of this Bible once you start keeping God's commandments. Wait, wait. Read. <clears throat> the knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. You see that? The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. So you ain't been living your life until you come back to these commandments. Right. You understand? I'm going to show you something. Go to Deuteronomy 4 and 5. The other nations know that. The heathens know you ain't no damn good without these commandments. Damn is in the Bible for the effeminate Christian Negro. Statutes and judgments. The Lord gave us statutes and judgments on Mount Sinai. You the Jew, black man. Yes, you the Jew right. in the Bible. Read. Even as the Lord my God commanded me. Come on. That ye should do so. What, what, what? That ye, should, ye do what? should do so. Do is an action. Right. Do is an action, black man. Something a black man hate to do, unless it's got to do with evil. A black man love to do evil, but for to do good, he have no knowledge. Come on. In the land, whether ye go to possess it. Come on. Keep therefore and do them. You see that? He told you do them two times in one and two precepts. That's why it's important. Read. For this is your wisdom and your understanding. In the sight of the nations. So that's why when the other nations see you keeping God's commandments, because they're going to see it. They see us coming up. They see Israel raising up in the wisdom and how to operate in this captivity. Come on, read that part again. <clears throat> uh, and your understanding in the sight of the nations. Come on. We shall hear all these statutes and say, surely this great nation is a wise and understanding people. So do the heathen say that about us today? Hell no. They say, look at these Negroes, shoot them down in the street. Ain't nobody gonna do nothing. They never will shoot down a Chinese man like that or an Arab man like that. They'll never shoot them down like that. What? If a black cop 
shot a, 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 a old white man or a young white boy, it that black he be hung the next day. Right. Okay. Read. For what nation is there so great? You see, when we come back to these commandments, what they gonna say? Read it again. For what nation is there so great? The commandments was only given to our people. So when we come back to the commandments, there's no nation that's gonna be greater than us. Okay, read. Who hath God so nigh unto them, as the Lord our God is in all things that we call upon him for. You see that? So it's showing you that what? When we come back to the commandments, we coming back to him and wanting all things. And he gonna give us all things because we keeping the commandments. Okay? So go back to Sirach. Finish up where you at. <clears throat> you get so you a fly, brother? Get this brother a fly. On the back of the fly is a website, brother. Check into it. Be a man of action, brother. Read. Sirach 19 and verse 19. The knowledge of the commandments of the Lord is the doctrine of life. That's how you're supposed to operate in your life. That's the doctrine of life right there. Come on. And they that do things that please him, come on, shall receive the fruit of the tree of immortality. You see that? Those are the brothers that's going to get the kingdom. Those are the brothers that's going to get the kingdom. The brothers that's doing the commandments of the Lord. All right? You got any questions over what I I'm Elder Nathaniel, Israel United in Christ. YouTube likes to shut our channels down, as some of you have noticed, <laughs> ever so often. Subscribing to join IUIC will assure you will always stay connected to our YouTube accounts. We want to do our best to make sure this truth gets up. Please click and join our subscriber YouTube channel called Join IUIC to stay linked to all of our videos. So again, please make sure you subscribe to this and join our UIC channel to get your latest updates from all our YouTube channels. Shalom.